I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I want to talk about how to benefit from a mentor. I have people who associate with me, they call me their mentors, their mentors. I have the ones who have done very well. I also have the ones who have not changed. I also have the ones I don't trust. In fact, it was reluctantly that I started a mentoring group because I mentor people from a distance. And uh, if you want to change, you change. Now, what is the purpose of mentoring? Mentoring provides the following arrows, arrow as in rice. Arrow number one, it gives you an opportunity to review your life. You can't benefit from a mentor if you carry the baggages and the luggages that have tied you down, prevented you from progressing, and you think that you can ice your life with what you are hearing and seeing. No. You must review your life and then see what you have not done well, see where you have not done well, and then review it and decide to change. If you have not decided to put any, any change into your life, then you can't benefit from a mentoring program. See, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. So you need to renew your mind, arrow number two. You need to peel off the old mind. You need to peel it off so that a newness, if we want to do, treat a chronic wound, dirty wound in medicine, we do what is called debromore. Is if you pronounce it in the English form, is debridement, debridement. But the French word is debromore. You remove the dead tissues. You cut off the, red the, the dead tissue and clean the wound. Then granulation tissue, new fresh tissue will start forming before you can put a graft. If you put a graft into the dead, dirty wound, it will be infected and it will not stay. So. If you are listening to Dr. Apoki and there are perceptions, ideas that you've gotten from church, you've gotten from the schools you went to, you've gotten from the African traditional attitude and disposition, you've gotten from your religious inclinations and whatever, and you want to superimpose what I am teaching you you will not do well. I did a video and I carried a big cassava. I carried that cassava on my head. I carried it on my head. That's about four days back. Four days back, I was carrying cassava tubers on my head as a medical doctor. If you can't remove pride, remove grandiosity, remove uh, over extravagance, you cannot remove conspicuous consumption, you cannot remove feeding with your two hands, you cannot benefit from my mentoring. Review. Then, arrow number three, reversal. You must turn away from your previous ways and turn in the direction of your mentor. You see, I'm not, I'm not an entertainer. Neither am I a motivational speaker. I'm a reality teacher. So you have to reverse and go in the direction that I have gone to and has helped me. I removed the coat of doctor, the tie and all that and decided to bend low to rebuild my life. If you want to build a big building, you need to excavate the topsoil to very firm soil before you can lay a foundation on it. Reversal. There were things 
and lifestyle I lived when I was practicing medicine. When I was in the East, I had to turn away. When I met people in the East, I had to turn away from my cultural disposition. The way my people do things, I don't do like that. The way they marry, I don't marry like that. The way the, the church I grew up in, there were principles that helped me, but they were the ones I turned away from. Like we have people who believe they are in full-time ministry. Me, I am not in full-time ministry. So reversal, you need to review, you need to reorientate your mind by the re re renewal of your mind, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind, change form by renewal of your mind, and then reversal. I used to spend money anyhow, but I reviewed my life, I reversed the trend, and I am very frugal, extremely frugal, and I make sure I reinvest my resources. The next thing is you need to mimic the person that is mentoring you. In the human brain, there's something called mirror neurons. Humans have mirror neurons. Uh, dogs have mirror neurons. I think uh, monkeys and apes have mirror neurons. Mirror neurons are the nerve endings in your brain that can make you mirror a behavioral pattern, mirror an action. Very few animals have mirror neurons. So you need to mirror whoever is mentoring you mirror the positive aspects that you know can change your life discard what will not change your life take the positive aspects then for you to benefit from a mentoring scheme or person or a mentor there is a doing you must do number one you will never do anything until you start so it is not enough to accumulate knowledge I know people who have attended several conferences, listened to so many people, worked with so many great men of God, but they remained small. They remained inconsequential and have not progressed. Is it, don't be my fan. I, I don't need fans. I need replicas who will do better than I have done. But my, the motto the principle behind what I am doing, what you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, and trust to reliable men who are able to teach others. That is to say, if you have seen a principle that has worked in me, take it, do it, then teach others. That's the way we can globalize what we are doing and change Africa. Africans can relate with, go to Europe, come back. They don't mirror what is in Europe. They still live like primitive people. Our politicians can school in Harvard, live in the UK, and still come home and behave like typical wicked Africans. So, do it. Start small. Do the thing. Number two, you must dare. You must dare to be different. Different from your former self different from your friends, different from your community, different from your denomination. You must dare to be different. I chose to be different, to do my things differently, and I have gotten results. If you don't dare to be different, the comments of people, the accusations, the mockery, the mimicry and everything will prevent you from doing. So dare to take a step of faith, dare to start small, dare to be consistent, continue in what you are doing. The results might be slow in the beginning, but they will get geographical multipl geometric multiplication as you continue. Consistency is important. And then you must have a determination to fulfill your dream. This is what I want to achieve. Now, it is not every project you see your mentor doing that you go into. You don't know where he is coming from and how he has reached that place. 
So start from basics, where you are, your state, and start building on yourself. Don't grow horizontally alone, grow vertically. Then develop the kind of capacities that I have developed. I work hard. I don't take medication to relieve pain. I, if I wake up, I woke up this morning now, I'm feeling pains in different parts of my body because of aging and I have walked this body. But I will go to the farm. I will go to the farm. As I'm walking, I will not feel the pains. When I come back, I sleep peacefully. So, dare to, to disobey this flesh. Discipline this flesh. Discipline your sexual appetite. Discipline your appetite to move up and down. Discipline your appetite to want to talk when you are not spoken to. Discipline your desire for sleep. And you will see you will do well. That is the way to benefit from a mentoring group. It is by doing. It is not by hearing. Say, be ye, do not, don't be hearers alone, but be doers. So whatever you have learned, if you see me do, buy land, you see me farm, you see me speak well, it is because I have studied. I've read a lot of books, read a lot of books. If you see me being humble, be, be humble and do what you are supposed to do to restart your life. If you see me marrying my wife well, marry. If, you, if you're here, I don't do adultery. Don't do adultery. That is the way to benefit from a mentor. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are hearing me from. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Please, there are so many of you listening and um, viewing these videos. You have not subscribed. Subscribe to this channel. Press the notification button and then help others by sharing these videos in your different WhatsApp group, in your different groups, and send them to people via their messenger application. Share them on the Facebook in your countries. I want to particularly thank Nigerians who follow me. You form the bulk of our followership. Then the next country is Kenya. Kenya is the second largest group of followers. Then um, you now see Zambia, Malawi, not in that order, Zambia, Malawi, Uganda, uh, Zimbabwe, South Africa, the United States, and all that. So spread this message because I want us to grow, particularly among us black folks, so that we can have a reorientation and this black color will not be a disgrace. It will be a sign of strength, wisdom, after all, and progress after all civilization started from us. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apok. You can send me a message on plus 234 on WhatsApp. God bless you.